Binary Chain solves the Bitcoin scaling problem in uh, a number of ways. Um, first off, the Bitcoin scaling problem is essentially that you want to have um, a lower um, tr uh, transaction size that propagates across the entire global network so that there isn't network latency problems. So you want to keep the transaction size relatively low to keep uh, the to remove network latency issues. Um, so Bitcoin has a one megabyte cap on the transaction size. The problem is now arising where the one megabyte capacity is is being reached. And now on the Bitcoin network right now, I think the current recent number is about 85,000 or so backlogged transactions because there's not enough transaction throughput under one megabyte total per block. So now we have a backlog of transactions where the f highest fee transactions are going through first and the lowest fee transactions are going through maybe not at all. So what this ultimately leads to is a race condition for a fee market and that's what's happening. So now over the last say two years, Bitcoin's fees have gone up exponentially per transaction. So now it's like one to two dollars per transaction um, on Bitcoin because you are trying to avoid the transaction backlog. We've solved both the fee market problem, which is a, a result of the scaling problem, and the scaling problem with the binary chain. And we've done this by having, first of all, in Varium, the proof of work uh, digital reserve, um, we have a new protocol called proof of work time. And this protocol has a variable block time. And as the computational power grows, the block time decreases. And basically this is an auto scaling mechanism where if you have more miners, you have better security, you can speed up transactions um, without um, risking the consensus because you have better security. Um, and because the transaction time between blocks is, is sped up, you have more capacity because, per unit time because you have um, the same block size cap but over a shorter period of time. So you can fit more transactions in uh, a set unit of time. Um, so proof of work time solves the scaling problem uh, of Bitcoin. And then combining Varium, the digital commodity, with Vericoin, we can leverage the strengths and weaknesses of both, where we have a costly, um, high value commodity being mined, which enhances security of the transactions that are occurring on its chain, but also Vericoin's chain. And Vericoin's chain is proof of stake. It has extremely low fees, like less than a thousandth of a cent, um, and it has a costless um, uh, consensus system. So there's basically no situation ever where there would be a fee market arising. And it also has 10 times the capacity of Bitcoin. In addition to when Vericoin and Varium are paired together, it will have an increasing block time like Varium. Uh, offered by the various miners and, and auto scale as well. So basically what we have is a currency that has low fees with no um, uh, situation where a fee market could ever arise, where the transaction speeds are very fast. And then we have a high fee commodity that pays the miners well to improve the low fee transaction system. So the combination of Vericoin and Varium into a paired binary chain solves a scaling problem and prevents the fee market.